how to identify which DDR RAM module is right for your laptop. So there are two different ways you can go about doing this, either using a software like HD Info, you download the software and let it run and analyze your system and it will feed you back with the information uh, such as uh, what RAM is installed in your system and what type of RAM it is. Another way to do it is to do it via the hardware uh, or the physical inspections. So you open up the memory modules and uh, the cover, then you take out the memory, DDR memories. Normally on the memory modules, it have a labels, it tells you what type of RAM it is. So for example, we're going to look at this one here, this one come out from the laptops. And if you look on the labels, it tells you how many gig it is. And it tells you if it's DDR1, DDR2 or DDR3. At the moment it says PC3. So this indicates it is a DDR3. Sometimes it says DDR3, sometimes it says PC3. So PC3 means this is a DDR3. Another indication is the pins that you can tell. So this has DDR3 has 36 pins. So if you look at that, compares to the DDR2, it has different pins. So with the different pins you can tell, so you can see on this one here it says DDR2 and it has only 20 pins on this side here, whereas DDR3 it has 36 pins. So that is another way how you can tell what type of RAMs uh, you need to get for your new laptops or you, for your to replace the RAMs on your current laptops. And again the DDR1 has only 20 pins but it is smaller and you can tell by it saying PC only so there's no PC2, PC 2700. Again this one here it shows DDR only so DDR with a speed 333 so this is a um, DDR1 RAM module. Now this one here is a DDR3 so you look at the pins it's 36 pins and that's it so once you identify the RAM module the right RAM modules you can go off and purchase the right one and put it into your laptop to upgrade your memory modules so you can see here with this one this is a DDR3 it has the right slot so if you buy the right one it should fit in perfectly and you can lock it in like so So again, this one is a DDR tray. If you write the right, buy the right one, it should fit in perfectly. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video.